Hey everybody, welcome back to our City Skylines playthrough here on River Valley County. We've got some snow melting off in the distance. Really cool. I said really cool to watch that happen. And just as we were ending things up, I placed down the oil production over here and now that is operational we also have oil available to us in this valley here kind of where there was an old river maybe that ran through there so i think we'll be expanding into that region at some point We also put down, well, we put down a few fire watch stations. They need electricity. Let's connect them to the grid. I don't know if they need a road or not. Not enough electricity. Oh. Classic, classic. I didn't connect that road. No wonder trash is piling up. You were never connected to the road. Alright, so I put in lots of watchtowers. We're gonna need to go through and hook them up with electric now. I don't think I necessarily realized that they required power. So we have that one. Uh, this one is already connected because it was right by a road. That one. Then we have this one. This should be all of the watchtowers then. Hopefully. We also put down our welfare office. And the welfare office is going to help increase the well-being of the surrounding neighborhood. It's going to help out with families who are struggling. Oh, wow, there, that thing popped in. Those things are huge. Let's see what happens when we do this. Let's see what a two by three is. Let's see the crane pop in here. We'll have a height comparison. Office demand. We have some more business demand.
Let's go ahead and plug in some more businesses. Just some available spots. Oh, I also connected this around. This would be a good time to, uh, you know, high density housing. Right here along the river. We're going to see what two by twos look like. by three parks we unlocked city large city park large plaza that's huge and this is a large playground we unlocked tennis courts outdoor gym skate park and a oh, skate park might be cool here. Let's do a trick I saw. We're going to turn off snapping. And we're going to position this. And we're just going to scooch it. Scooch it. Till it doesn't say it needs a road anymore. And it connects. Turn snapping back on. Yeah, that's a great plot spot for a park. Oh, that's still pretty tall. So this one built in now. This is a two by three. Two by two. Six households in there. EM density housing. Sorry, single family homes. You are being evicted. It's okay, we have plenty of good places for you to live elsewhere. Plenty of good spots for you to live elsewhere. Speaking of that. Let me give you some of those fine locations. Build tool.
and some businesses in there. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions oh, let's improve. see how these look. This has been a local public service announcement. Pending updates well, we to got our, our painter mansion. The city will be experiencing rolling black. Oh, I forgot about these Easter Island heads. During these breaks in service and to follow oh, the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural sophisticated. Who doesn't fear extending the There we go. <laughs> more challenging <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Classical genre. Let us move now from the uh, musical page to the... Well, that's not really the look I was going for, but that's the look I'm capable of getting. From the My dear Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apologies... All right, let's work on modesty, making people happier the with their parks and recreation. the title. Of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. Though I do thank you, basketball for the court, tennis court, community. outdoor gym. Uh, but I digest to continue. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, okay. I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road weary soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your right, they're happy. spirit some modest desolation. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. That make or them happy. Tells me. That's good for business and good for um, the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight as the Aurora Borealis is expected to light up the night sky. That's right, Jim. Don't forget to look up this evening. It promises to be quite a sight. that happy uh which which makes people more happy outdoor gym tennis court large playground large plaza really makes people happy Hard to fit one in though. Put a play <laughs> in right there by by the uh Them all green. So let's. What if we cheesed this a little bit? And then a gravel road. By our high school and elementary school. Oh, 
fuck could we fit in here? Put in a tennis court. No. playground in the basketball court an outdoor gym and a dog park all right there That'll make those guys happy. I don't know why, but people really like dog parks. They make... They seem to really have a good range of happy. in here and turn that off there, that might make them look a little bit better in the end. Okay, we need industrial. Let's see how this works. hoping that we'll get some agricultural industry pop in there. Is definitely don't know what's up with that it's 
Whatever oil industry going on. Industry there. And we'll put a business here. Hopefully, something will pop in that will sell to you, you industry types. The housing is still of high demand. 9,400 people. We are, we are getting there. some mixed use and we need some more high capacity again apparently Solves that need, and we still need low density housing. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road right. conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Now let's check our You're population. The second moon, the epitome of classical listening at home or wherever you roam. 8,500 jobs. The region is on the rise. 6,400 employed. Well, 9,400 total There's population. No this boat, Glenda. And on to our main feature story. 
The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy low-density housing. Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. I mean, that's got to squelch demand. So let's just take it in a little bit. See where we are. Growth potential for sure. We don't need to grow anymore right now. What did I put in here? Oh, that's the film actor. Here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, household wealth is wretched. It's wretched because they're a film actor's mansion. And of course, you know, the actors are striking. <laughs> ah, somehow the simulation is uh, simulating reality. Yet again. maybe go into there what's your problem oh yeah car accident all right so let's look at the tiles let's look at where we might grow our county so in the main highway coming through here We get a pretty good bang for our our tile bucks. We go with something like that. We can continue out this way with suburbia, and then maybe come off of here. Maybe. And then we'll have suburbia of our city kind of encroaching upon an, a small town over here. Sounds good. So we buy that. And I'm not the best at building out an intersection. So we're going to build out an intersection real fast. And then we'll call it done. Right, we can go with something simple. Mm -hmm. 
Too steep a slope. There is a slope there. Well, I had one more. seems to take the smallest space or what invalid shape needs snapping and see if we can make it go away. Oh my gosh, I don't know. It wasn't that hard. Take this and we'll put the curve tool in. So it's because it's narrower, I guess. Okay, so this intersection goes under the road. Then we have kind of two little woo doohickey things. And we will expand our we'll put another little town out here. And maybe continue. Probably need to upgrade this bridge. I don't know, maybe, maybe leave the bridge because it's kind of 
Kind of a nice little feel. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we have... Arable land over here. And over here. Because if we take a look... At our production, we are surplus on everything that we can make for all materials wise we're deficit on petrochemicals that's fine we're doing pretty darn good we gotta balance our budget that's what we need to do So we are getting money from our parking fees now. So roads are paying for us. Electricity is paying. You know, we could export water. Do we own tiles? No, we don't own tiles all the way out to the road yet. Next time we need to buy tiles out to the road. And export excess water. That'll help us. That'll help us out a lot. All right, that's it. We expanded our city. We built out some high-density housing. Hopefully they will uh, prove profitable. Oh, yeah, look at this. So there's Dillville, Rivertown. Bedford up on the hillside. And then we'll have a new community right over there with uh, suburbia invading in on it. Put some circles in, traffic circles. Expanded some roads a little bit. I also did uh, do some bus lanes. Pending updates. Some dedicated While bus lanes. Grid, I might put some more will be dedicated bus lanes blackouts. in just to, urge the public to look to um, ease up traffic. And, and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these but temporary yeah. events. Everything's this looking out pretty good. a local public service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce...